All right, good morning, everybody. We'll take questions for Avalanche head coach, Jared Bednar. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey, Jared, looks like you've got the band or part of the band back together. Could you talk about the lineup and uh, and who's where? Yeah, Don Skoy, Rantanen, and uh, Grubauer will all play tonight. Um, but I'm not going to, starting today forward, I'm not going to give out our lines or our starter. Um, I don't see an advantage for me to do that going down the stretch here. These are must win games for us. And um, I don't feel like I should be given San Jose extra time to prepare or any opponent for that matter for our team. So I'm, I'm not going to, I'm going to stop like stating our lineup and pregame skate. It's just going to have to wait and see for game time. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Jared, I just wanted to ask what you thought of Martin Kaut's few games up here and, and just kind of where you think his game is at this point. Yeah, I thought they were just okay. Um, probably has to get more involved. Um, better starts to the games. Uh, if you look at it, you know, I, I just try and look at it and evaluate our guys in the minutes that they play. And I look at a guy like, say, Sherwood, who – came into our lineup, makes an impact immediately in his first game, um, plays a loud game, a physical game, comes up with pucks. He's hard on pucks. He's in, in on the four check and um, he's, he's, he's making an impact. And, and to me, that's what we have to see. So I didn't see enough of it from Cowder, um, which is the reason why uh, Sherwood is, is playing tonight and, um, some of those other guys are gone. So it's, it's about winning, not about uh, where you were drafted or uh, even what you're doing down with the Eagles. It's, you know, guys have to make an impact to help us win and, and we'll set our lineup accordingly to that. So, I mean, it was okay, um, but, it, but it, it's going to have to be better to play on our roster. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Uh, yeah, Jared, I had a question about COVID still. Uh... When you guys are on the road, are you guys able to go out now and have like d d dinners with the team, or are you are you all still stuck in your hotel rooms pretty much the whole time? Stuck in our hotel rooms pretty much the whole time. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not allowed to. I mean, it's been the same all year. The the, the protocols from the league haven't changed. It's uh, to the rink, back to the hotel. Um, Guys are, you know, we have some meals in there, like pregame meals and such, but the, uh, the other meals are um, either ordered and picked up and, or, and, and guys walk to get them or else they're delivered DoorDash or, or Uber Eats and you're basically stuck in your hotel. Lauren Jabara, Altitude Sports. Hey, Jared, just looking at, you know, these 12 games, 10 on the road, these two at home, how important is it to take advantage of the home ice here, especially against San Jose? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's important. I mean, every, all these games are important now. Like we've got a, um, I mean, there's, there's no secret. Like we've had a dip in our game. Um, although I really did like our, our Vegas game. A lot of the things we did, uh, we made some mistakes at Casas. I touched on that after the Vegas game. That's what good teams do. And, and we're getting to the point here where we're only going to be playing good teams and, and, and teams that are, jockeying for position and and you know there's a lot to play for so um we have to be better there's no question but i liked our work i liked our competitiveness i didn't like some of the mistakes we made i liked some of the chances that we created um didn't give up a lot but again that you gotta you gotta try and play the perfect game to beat a team like vegas and and we fell short on that but uh, that's our goal for me. It's about our habits, our determination, our competitiveness, um, finding ways to win hockey games. Uh, but the base of our play has to come a little bit now again. Like we went through a stretch where it was really good. It changes with guys missing out of the lineup. You have guys that, um, you know, top guys out of the lineup, a lot of scoring out of the lineup. We'll get some of that back here tonight. I don't know how those guys are going to be after their break. Um, not easy to come back in and pick up where you left off, but those guys have been putting in some good work, uh, including Gruby. So I think all that helps. You get your starter back in the net, you get some scoring back in the lineup, you become a more confident team, and and you can uh, cover up for some of the mistakes you make. So um, the, the margin for error got smaller. It uh, should stretch out here again for us, but uh, 
you know, our goal is to try and play the perfect game every night here, here down the stretch to get geared up for the playoffs. Pat Graham, Associated Press. Hey, Coach, you kind of answered this a little bit just there, but uh, Ruby was in such a good groove before this. I mean, do you expect him to pick up where he left off, or do you expect maybe just a little bit of rust, and how do you overcome that? Or how, or how much? How do you compensate for that? Well, you don't compensate for it. Um, we're going to play our game regardless of who's in there. Like you have, we have a different mindset, I think, going in when you're when you're running really thin. But we're we we still have some injuries, but we're we're playing a, a real good lineup here tonight. And and uh, I expect a little bit of rust from all of our guys coming back. Like I don't think you're going to see guys come back in the lineup and play their best game of the year. And 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 that's what we're trying to demand. And and uh, the standard we're trying to set for all of our guys. So those guys get a little leeway um, because they haven't been in those game situations for quite some time and, and their, their training has been limited. But my job will be to manage their minutes a little bit if need be, have conversations with them during periods, after periods to see how their legs are feeling. And um, if there's some line shuffling, it'll probably be because Maybe Miko can't handle 22 minutes. You know, maybe Don Scoy can't do 17. Um, but we'll just make those adjustments on the fly. We have other guys that have stepped up in their absence, and we can shrink their minutes a little bit as the game goes. But as far as the way we want to play and 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 the detail to our game, there there's there's no compensating for for guys coming in after injury. We'll take two more here for Jared. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Jared, Tyson Joe seems to be playing the best hockey of his career. Would you agree? And uh, are you excited about what this 23-year-old is going to be able to do in the future? Yeah, no question. I think for, for certain he's playing the best hockey he's played uh, for us and, and that I've seen uh, consistency, quickness, um, determination and heaviness on the puck. I think there's at times, uh, um, you know, Tyson, you know, as a young player, you're you're a high end offensive guy. Um, maybe your defending habits aren't that good. You're used to being able to make plays in traffic. Players are are quicker to close down those those open spaces. They're way better with their sticks and body positions, and it becomes way more difficult stepping into the NHL, especially as a young player. Um, he's learned to adjust his game, adapt his game, and he's way heavier and stronger on the puck now than he's been in the past, and he's way quicker um, to get to some of those areas. Uh, part of that is being better in the structure of the game, anticipation, knowing where the puck's going to go and which battle has to be won, and he's a very determined guy right now. So I love the way he's playing. I think the offense will come for him eventually uh, if he continues to put in the effort like he has been, and, and, he, and he's had to adjust his game every year for us. Um, but this is he's really found a role in our penalty kill. He's a trusted guy now in the middle of the ice and on the wing. So he's he's uh, he's got some flexibility there. So he's 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 been a valuable guy for us. No question. So all I centering our second line. Last one here, Peter Baugh, the athletic. Hey, Jared, I was wondering with the next like four games with San Jose, have you been able to, I guess, talk to Dubnik at all for any additional scouting? Has he been able to help out at all in that regard? Yeah, we talked to him a little bit about, you know, some special teams, especially. Um, this is a team that runs a real, real strong penalty kill. We know that our power play is going to be important. I think, uh, you know, knowing a little bit about their power play, but, you know, for the most part, we've seen them a lot. We have a lot of video on them. Uh, Brett Heimlich does an amazing job of breaking it down. I go through it all, as do the other coaches in, in their respected areas. And um, so we, we th there's not a whole lot of secrets in our league, but certainly getting a little bit of input from a guy that's been there helps. All right. Thank you, Jared. Right, thank you. All right. We'll take questions for Avalanche forward Jonas Donskoy. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Uh, welcome back, Jonas. Uh, uh, I guess I'd ask you just what it was like being out that long and what it was like to have the virus uh, without getting too personal with you. Uh, was it, you know, a symptom thing that you had and you had to deal with? Uh, well, yeah, I had, I had some symptoms and, and uh it sucks. <laughs> I don't recommend everybody, anybody getting COVID. It's not fun, but um, I'm happy it's over now. It was uh, it was a long couple of weeks for sure. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. 
Hi, Jonas. Glad to see you're you're feeling better. Um, I guess just how did how have you felt on the ice the past couple of days, and and how do you how ready do you feel to go tonight? I mean, I I skated for the first time yesterday. Um, you know, kind of trying to get back back at it, get my 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 skating back and all that, getting some touches. Um, and I'm good to go. So I think it's 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 good to just jump back in, and I think playing games. There's no there's no better way getting back back to it than, than better playing games. So, so uh, yeah, I'm good to go. Lauren Jabara, Altitude Sports. Hey, Jonas, glad you're feeling better. Welcome back. Um, obviously, you know, during the stretch, you got some time to watch your team, I guess, from a little bit of a distance. What are some things that maybe you noticed over this last four game road stretch um, that you want to see, you know, your team do a little bit better? And how can you take advantage of, of home ice tonight and a home crowd? Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. It's always a little bit different watching the games from from TV and, and kind of seeing seeing things in different perspective. Um, obviously, it was a tough situation for the guys coming back from from a break again and, and uh, some guys out and all that. So I think just I think the guys are starting to get their skating back and feeling better. And, and uh, you know, I think those last couple of games, maybe maybe we weren't as good with the puck and, and I had some turnovers and 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 spend a little bit too much too much time in our own, own end. So um, we know how to play. We've been we've been pretty good five on five team all season. So so uh, we're getting guys back in the lineup. So I, I, I'm sure we'll we'll uh, get back at it. Pat Graham, Associated Press. Hey, great to see you back. Um, I guess do you have kind of a minutes in mind? I mean, can you just jump in and, and be yourself again? Or do you expect some rust and do you expect to be maybe more limited minutes a little bit? Um, well, it's, it's really hard to say now. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure the coaches will, they're, they're smart, you know, they, they'll, they'll see if, if they need to limit, but obviously I just want to play as much as possible. That's if I can decide that's, that's how I feel. But, uh, but of course it's, it's been a couple of weeks, so you have to be smart and, and, uh, I'm sure I'm, they'll kind of limit my ice time at first. All right. Thank you, Jonas. Appreciate it. All right. We'll take questions for Avalanche forward Miko Rantanen. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Miko, Jared said that uh, you were under the weather a little bit, but uh, how frustrating was it to watch the guys play and sit out because of con? contact tracing yeah of course it's uh you want to be out there as much as you can and and uh I'm, I'm glad it was only three games i missed or four four games so it's uh it goes pretty quick but obviously those watching those games is tough you always want to be a part of it and and uh so but uh i'm happy to be back now and uh feel pretty good peter Baugh, the athletic yeah, you mentioned you're you're feeling pretty good, but I guess just how do you feel conditioning wise after having some time off? And now, I guess you've been skating for a few days now. How are you feeling? Yeah, I've been skating for a few days, so that helps, of course. So yeah, feel feel pretty good actually right now. Like I said, and, and uh, but of course those couple days on the ice, you know, after after we had that break before, and then I was uh, quarantining last whole week, so. So it's a, it's a pretty long break from the ice, but it comes back quick also. Lauren Jabara, Altitude Sports. Hey, Miko, good to see you back. Um, obviously, you know, when you're sitting out watching your team play, it's, it's a different perspective, right, than when you're sitting on the bench. Just what did you see from your team these last four games that you liked and that maybe need to be improved? And then how do you take advantage here of home ice for two games? Yeah, I think guys battled really well. It's not easy games on the road against St. Louis and Vegas. Those are really good two hockey teams and uh, especially play on the road. And we were pretty banged up. Uh, there was other guys out too, uh, including myself and Donnie, Kruby, you know, everybody, everybody who's out. So, so it's, uh, it's not easy for the, for the team and especially on the road, but I think guys battled pretty well. I think last game we played really good against Vegas, just uh, couldn't find a way, but uh, I'm just focusing for tonight, the next games. Pat Graham, Associated Press. Hey, Miko, thanks for taking the time. I, I was just curious, given you know everything you've gone through over your career and guys have gone through, how much does it make you appreciate maybe what Patrick Marlowe has done and at his games played streak? Yeah, it's it's pretty unbelievable to think that 
he's uh, leading the whole league uh, in the history of the league. You know, when the game's played and the the way he, how long he's been. What was he drafted? Ninety seven, I think, and it's two thousand twenty one. So that's pretty crazy for me. I was one year old when he was he got drafted, and so uh, it's. I think everybody can look up to him and <clears throat> learn from him, like. What does he do as a professional to play such a long career? It's not easy, especially in this sport. It's very physical. There's a lot of injuries for certain guys. So so it's it's pretty amazing to see how he done. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Mika, just a broader question about this whole season. Have you felt yourself getting more comfortable in a leadership role? And, and have you felt like you've you've been more vocal in the dressing room? I think so, yeah. Every I mean, every year you become more comfortable and uh, and you know with especially with EJ out you know he's a big part of our leadership group and our core he's been out pretty much the whole year so uh, just have to step in there and try to try to do my best and and uh, trying to lead the way Rick Sadowski NHL.com Hey Miko it seems like in the past when you've come back from a layoff you've had a pretty big game just wondering what your expectations for uh you have for yourself for tonight uh well not that not that much i'm i'm just trying to obviously i'm ready to play big minutes obviously and uh i'm just trying to trying to play my best and get the win obviously so not uh not too many expectations for myself just uh just for the team all right thank you miko thank you